After the delivery of his child went wrong, Greg was terrified that he had lost everything. However, when he picked up his dying child and kissed her on the forehead, a true miracle occurred. That day, the operating room was filled with more apprehension than usual. The tension that was in the air was palpable. Nurses ran around as they tried to get what the doctors demanded. While in the ward, the doctors were trying hard to help Eve deliver her baby. Besides the tension, another thing that was easy to note was the worry in the air. Everyone was frantic with worry, and the reason was not far-fetched. Eve's delivery was premature due to complications that had arisen. In their bid to save her life and that of the baby, they had to do it quickly. Eve had been anesthetized, so she felt nothing as the doctors conducted a C-section to get the baby out. Greg, her husband, was right beside her holding onto her hand as if it was a life support. He wiped the sweat off her brow and kept telling her that she was almost done and it was almost over soon. Soon, the doctors managed to extract the baby from her belly and the moment the infant was out, Eve's hand went lax in Greg's. The doctors and nurses cooed as they studied the baby. She was a girl and she had her tiny legs crossed at the knees with her equally tiny hands dropping at the side. Her eyes were closed and there was not a single sound from her. But then before anyone could mention how wrong that was, Greg's wail pierced through the entire ward as he shook Eve hard. She lay prone on the bed, not moving an inch even as he shook her. Her eyes were on the doctor carrying her baby girl and sadly, it told them everything they needed to know. Eve had passed on. She had lost so much blood during the delivery, literally giving her life for her daughter. And even as Greg was weeping profusely beside her bed, asking her to come back to him so they would raise their daughter together. The doctor picked up the baby and began to check her out. He turned the baby around and smacked her lightly on the romp once. Everyone froze at the sound and stared at the doctor, including Greg. There was no response from the baby. And the doctor did it again, making it a bit harder this time around. Sadly, there was still no response. At once, he laid the baby out on the bed beside the dead mother and with a stethoscope, listened for a heartbeat. There was one, but it was extremely weak and it was getting weaker with each heartbeat. He felt around for a pulse and saw that it was the same thing, weak. At once, the doctors kicked into full gear. Right there and then, they began to frantic race to save her life. Greg reluctantly left Eve's side and went a bit closer to the doctors. He watched as they battled to save his baby's life. His heart was thudding heavily in his chest and he could barely stay in one spot. So he went out and kept pacing all around the hallowed halls, listening for the slightest sign of good news. He was still yet to fully process the fact that he only just lost his wife, but he had to push all that away so he could deal with the immediate problem, which was preserving his baby girl's life. Every time a nurse stepped out of the theater, he stopped them and questioned them on the status of the baby, but none of them gave him a satisfactory answer, and it was all he could do to stop himself from walking into the theater himself and forcing the doctors to give him good news. While he stood there, an hour passed, and then another hour went by, and with each passing minute, he could see it as clear as day. The sense of urgency reduced drastically even without anyone telling him. The doctors were losing the battle. His baby wasn't going to make it. Greg's legs buckled beneath him and he fell to his knees as he let out a loud cry. He couldn't believe that he had failed both his wife and child in such a disastrous way. Things were never supposed to have gone this way and he felt responsible for how everything turned out. Greg had grown up in an orphanage and the only thing he knew about family was what he learned in school and saw in movies. For that reason, he promised himself that when he was ready to have kids, he would make sure the child came into a loving home complete with two parents. Thankfully, Eve shared this vision. She had also grown up in the orphanage, and she knew just how much it could mean to actually belong to a family. Right from when they were teenagers, Greg and Eve were inseparable. They did everything together and were always a source of comfort to each other. The older they got, the last chance they had of getting adopted, and that made them even closer. They began dating when they were 17, and by the time they were 18, they moved out of the orphanage together and decided to start their lives together, as a couple. Starting up was hard for them, but they made it work. It wasn't easy at all, but they all put in their best. Both of them worked multiple shifts to make ends meet, and they planned their future together. They got married a few years later and decided that one of them had to go to college while the other had to work. And it was decided that Greg go off to college while Eve focused on getting a job to support the family. Things were going great for them. They found their rhythm and life couldn't get any better for the couple. But sadly, tragedy struck a few years later, just as Greg was about to get into his final year in college. He fell seriously ill. And when he went for a test, 
he was diagnosed with renal failure. His kidneys were failing him, and he was in need of a doctor. This moment was one of the most trying ones in their relationship. Everything that could go wrong seemed to happen all at the same time. Greg couldn't go to school anymore due to his ill health, and the financial burden on Eve increased exorbitantly. They took regular trips to the hospitals for dialysis and other related treatments, and every single one cost an arm and a leg. It was a trying time for them, and many times the gravity of her situation broke through the love she had for Greg. She cried profusely at night and wondered if she had made the wrong decision. But still every morning she felt refreshed and always decided to do better. To be able to pay off the bills, she took out a loan and also offered to donate one of her kidneys to Greg. Getting from someone else was way too expensive than they could afford and she didn't want to lose him just because of money. Thankfully, the kidney transfer was successful and after a long time in the hospital, Greg and his wife returned home. He was happy to be back and he knew he owed it big time to Eve. He promised to do his best to pay her back for her sacrifice. He returned to college and studied hard, graduating with distinction. His results were so good that getting a good job wasn't difficult at all. He started earning six figures and their lifestyle dramatically improved in the blink of an eye. He wasted no time in clearing all the debts they had incurred because of him. And on his first vacation, he took her to the Maldives, where they had a great time together. He treated Eve like the queen she was and promised to always take good care of her. Three months after they returned from the vacation, Eve felt pregnant and neither of them had been so happy in their lives. That day, she served dinner as usual, but this time around, she covered his plate. When he opened it up, there was no food inside. What he found was the test result showing her positive. He screamed with joy and hugged her immensely, swirling her around as he told her how happy she made him. Prior to all that, he had never thought he was ready for children, but the minute she broke the news to him, all his doubts faded away. The realization that he was going to be a father sunk in, and he was excited to raise such a gift. During the third month of the pregnancy, he surprised her by buying their dream house. He had saved up for some months to afford it, but it was so worth it. The new house had more rooms and space. It was more suitable for a pregnant woman and for children as well. He began working on the nursery and preparing the room for their little one. Soon, they went for an ultrasound scan to find out the sex of the baby, and they were happy to see that it was a girl. Although it wouldn't have mattered if it were a boy, they were just happy to have a child together. They kept preparing for the arrival of the baby. They were so happy and everyone could see just how happy and in love they were. It was almost contagious. As a result, their neighbors were just as expectant as they were. Their colleagues and friends were also expectant. Everyone was looking forward to the birth of the baby because it was clear as day that even before she stepped foot in the world, the baby was already loved greatly. However, things were about to go wrong in a way none of them could have ever expected. During the eighth month of the pregnancy, Greg decided to surprise his wife once again. He knew the car she loved and had always wanted, but they couldn't get it because of how expensive it was. He decided to buy it for her so she could use it once their baby girl was delivered. He drove the car home from the dealership and parked it in front of their house. It was beautifully decorated with ribbons and balloons. Before getting out of the car, he hit the honk once to alert Eve. From her room, she looked out the window and saw the car parked out front. She gave a shriek of delight as she knew at once that it was for her. Then she surged to her feet and began to walk as fast as she could out of the house to hug him. Due to her condition, she couldn't walk as fast as she would have loved. But even that was not enough to save her. While walking down the stairs, her foot slipped on a step and came down hard, twisting her ankle. Then the rest of her followed suit as she tumbled down the rest of the way down the stairs before rolling to a stop at the bottom of the stairs. She was unconscious and was lying in a pool of blood that was rapidly spreading. From outside, Greg heard her fall and when he rushed inside, it was as if his insides had been pulled out. He screamed in horror as he ran to her side and then called an ambulance which came in record time. He climbed in after her, holding on tightly to her hand as he kept praying and begging for her to hang on while the paramedics kept battling to save her life. All through the trip, Eve kept losing blood and since it was internal bleeding, there was only so much that could be done in the ambulance. They finally got to the hospital and the vehicle came to a screeching halt at the front doors where nurses were already waiting with a stretcher and at once Eve was wheeled into the teether. The moment she got there, they set to work at once. They needed to assess the severity of her injuries as that would be the deciding factor for their next course of action. They realized that Eve's condition was just as bad as it looked. She was losing so much blood and her vitals were suffering as a result. And even worse, the baby in her womb wasn't faring any better. The fall had also affected her and she was in distress. Her heart rate was dropping rapidly 
and they needed to get her out at once. The doctor decided that a C-section was the best step to take and they immediately prepared for it. They were certain that once the baby was delivered, both mother and child would be able to stabilize. But sadly, despite giving it their best, Eve didn't make it and now the baby girl was also fighting for her life in the emergency ward. After hours of doing everything they could, the doctors finally stepped away from the baby. She was losing the fight to live and they wanted Greg to spend her last moments with her. On shaky legs, he made his way into the theater and looked down at his child. She was lying so still, she looked like a miniature statue. He touched her gently on the cheek and it felt warm against his flesh. Tears fell from his eyes as he reminded himself of just how much he had failed his wife. Despite everything she had done for him, he failed her still. He should have never bought that car. Things wouldn't have gone so bad if he hadn't been more prudent. As he wept, he gently lifted the dying baby and placed a kiss on her forehead. Then he hugged her tight, holding on to the infant as if someone was going to pull her from his grasp. He held on tight to the baby, leaning against the bed as he cried and cried for all he had lost and all he was about to lose. He was so engrossed in his pain that he almost didn't hear the cry of pain sounding so close to his ear. It took a few seconds, but it finally registered, and then with shock he realized that it was his baby that was crying. He almost dropped her in shock. She was crying furiously. Her face reddened as she waved angry fists in the air, crying with everything she had. At once, the doctor swarmed in like a SWAT team and took the baby from him. They began running checkups to make sure she was no longer in immediate danger. Greg was terrified. He was confused if he was only imagining things. He pinched himself, but nothing changed. The doctors were really treating the baby girl who was still bawling her eyes out. But this was music to his ears now. It was a miracle. Somehow, the baby they had all believed was dying had managed to come back to life. The story spread not just in the hospital but in the community as well. The circumstances surrounding the birth made Eve's death a little more easy to deal with. They knew that she gave her life for her daughter and that somehow lessened the pain of her being gone. Greg carried his baby out of the hospital a few weeks later. The infant was in good health and of sound mind. As he took her home, he promised her that he would always do his best by her. He never wanted to raise a child without her mother, but he could see now that life had other plans for him. He was going to be his daughter's mother and father and make sure that he made her life as good as he possibly could, in a way that would make her mother super proud. To immortalize the wife, he named their daughter after her. What a beautiful story. Who could have guessed that the infant would come back to life? What would you have done in Greg's shoes? Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. See you in the next video.